टू न्यूज स्टोरीज फॉर यू फर्स्टली इथियोपियन परमानेंट मिशन एट द यू एन हैज रिलीज अ स्टेटमेंट क्रिटिसाइजिंग डब्ल्यू एच ओ वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एग्जैक्यूटिव बोर्ड विच टूडे अनाउंस द नॉमिनेशन ऑफ डॉक्टर टेड्रॉस एज Uh, head of the WHO for an other term. Second level. Second news story, very important news story. We'll have a detailed look at uh, a statement issued by Tigray's government a few hours ago. Tigray has declared war on a far region. In a statement, Tigray has elaborated upon the reasons behind this action. Why is that Tigray forces have launched major offensive on Afar? What are the military objectives of this new offensive? And what is this Red Sea force? We have heard the name of this force for the first time in this statement. Uh, we have a detailed look at the statement of Tigray's government. Firstly, viewers, uh, Ethiopian permanent mission, the UN has released a statement. It has regretted something which happened yesterday. On the 24th of January, Ethiopian government says that yesterday uh, it wanted to deliver a statement at a meeting of WHO's executive board about Dr. Tedros, WHO head, but it was not allowed to deliver the statement. Secondly, uh, Ethiopian mission, the UN uh, says that uh, it lodged a complaint against Dr. Tedros with uh, executive board of WHO, but so far it has not received the acknowledgement that executive board has received this complaint. Thirdly, uh, the permanent mission of Ethiopian government has leveled allegation against Dr. Tedros. Ethiopian permanent mission says that Dr. Tedros is backing TPLF, though Ethiopia nominated him uh, when he was uh, elected as WHO head five years ago, but later when war broke out, he showed his true colors. That is what Ethiopian government says. So, uh, Ethiopian government is trying to put pressure upon WHO. It wants WHO to take action uh, on the note verbal uh, sent by Ethiopian government against Dr. Tedros so far. WHO's executive board has not taken any action against Dr. Tedros. Instead, he has been nominated for another term to serve as the head of WHO. Secondly, words, very important news story. Tigray government has released a statement about Tigray Afar fighting. It has been now officially confirmed. In the statement, Tigray government has officially confirmed that it has launched an attack on a far region. Why did it uh, make this decision? Tigray government says that uh, Aratia has uh, organized a new force by the name of Red Sea Force. Aratia, Amhara expansionists and uh, Awol Arba uh, of our president's forces. They are raising a new army called Red Sea Force. And in the past few weeks, uh, of our uh, fighters, Aratian forces, they have been launching attacks inside Tigray and they reached uh, at a distance of around 30 kilometers away from Makele. So, Tigray has been showing restraint, but now Tigray has decided to fight back. That is the reason given by Tigray government. Secondly, it says that uh, it has been trying to ensure delivery of aid to Tigray, but uh, uh, Ethiopian federal government, Amhara expansionists, uh, Aratian government and Awul Arba's Afar forces they are deliberately launching attacks on Tigray Afar border to keep this route uh, 
destabilize uh, to stop supplies uh, to Tigray. So, Tigray government says that basically it is acting in self-defense. What are the military objectives of this offensive? Tigray government says in the statement that it has three military objectives. First, it wants to push all far forces, Aratin forces out of Tigray. Second military objective is that it wants to push them uh, away from uh, the areas close to Tigray. It means that Tigray is talking about a buffer zone. It wants uh, to push afar Aratin forces uh, away from Tigray, a far border. And thirdly, it says that it wants to degrade fighting capabilities of enemy forces. We heard the same phrase, the same sentence uh, when Tigray forces entered Amhara and Afar in July last year, I remember. Gaeta Choreda had used the same uh, wording. He had said that uh, Tigray forces had entered uh, Amhara to degrade the fighting capabilities of enemy forces. Once again, Tigray says it wants to degrade the fighting capabilities of Afar forces and Aratin forces. Tigray lastly says that it does not want to uh, remain in Afar. It is not uh, going for any territorial gains. It only wants to push enemy forces, as the word is used in the statement. It wants to push the forces away from Tigray border and then it wants to uh, revert to its border positions. Now, this statement has confirmed that uh, Tigray forces have launched a full scale attack on Afar. On more than one front. I have been updating you about uh, Abala, Magale, uh, thirdly uh, Rabti, fourthly Birhale. It has been officially confirmed. Now, how can you degrade their fighting capabilities by la launching an attack on two or three fronts? Tigray forces have been fighting uh, for months to weaken uh, Afar Amhara forces. They could not. Instead, Afar forces, Amhara forces, they became stronger. They bought drones, they bought new military equipment. Now Amhara forces, Amhara Fano, militia, the far fighters, they are stronger if you compare their strength before the start of uh, Tigray's operations in Amhara Far. You cannot degrade their fighting capabilities. Secondly, uh, Tigray cannot force a far region to uh, allow the delivery of aid to Tigray through a far. You cannot force a far region by launching these attacks. Yes, uh, you can talk to them through negotiations. Uh, they, they can agree. Otherwise, by force, you cannot uh, make them agree to your demand. Tigray says that it sent some elders to a few days ago to talk to Afar elders, Afar government, but uh, Tigray elders tried to convince them, but uh, despite uh, the request of Tigray elders, attacks inside Tigray continued. So, Again, we are seeing uh, a new phase of start of hostilities on Tigray Afar border. Uh, we'll keep you updated, but it is now an official uh, confirmation that Tigray forces have entered Afar. How deep will Tigray forces go into, Tig uh, in, into Afar? That remains to be seen. Where will they stop? And what about Aratians? Uh, will they deploy all their forces on these fronts or not? No mention of Ethiopian National Defense Force in this statement. Viewers. People say Sajid, ENDF are fighting uh, on this front. Amhara forces are fighting on this front. No mention of Amhara forces, Amhara militias, ENDF on this front. Just mention of Amhara expansionists and uh, Aratian forces, Red Sea Force. 
So officially, Tigray is not claiming that Amhara forces, Amhara militias, and Ethiopian National Defense Force are fighting on this front, these fronts, uh, Birhale, Abala, Magale, and Rabati. Uh, but uh, several times in the statement uh, is the mention of Aratian forces. Tigray says that it's mainly Aratia which is trying to raise an army, Red Sea force, to destabilize, to weaken Tigray. Let's see what happens, viewers. We'll keep you updated about this front, Tigray, far border. Thank you for watching.